All right, what's up guys? So the sun is shining, the freaking wind is blowing. It's freezing, but it's still actually kind of beautiful in a way. Never mind, the sun just went away. The <laughs> but um, today I figured I would do something a little bit different. I have this beautiful van sitting here, but I don't feel like I've ever, like I've, I've made so many videos about it, but I don't feel like I've ever showed you guys like an actual tour of everything that's in it. So I figured I'm gonna sit outside, I'm gonna freeze, and I'm gonna show you guys a tour of my van. So. I want to first start off by asking you guys to please, please forgive all the wind that you may pick up. I don't got all the fancy equipment yet or nothing, so I can't, I don't got the fancy like wind, windproof microphone and all that stuff, so please bear with me, man. Alright guys, so first thing first, we got the front of the van, it's a Chevy conversion van, and man, this thing is freaking built like a tank, I swear. Now I know all the cool stuff is inside, so we'll get to that in a second, but I will first want to show you all the little cool little gadgets on the outside, like this little step stool up here. That turns into like a little whatever that thing's used for. Along the side here, we got the little emblem that says Chevy Van 2 Diamond Exclusive. So that must be fancy or something. And that would be me right there out here in the cold. Like all conversion vans in the world, pretty much, I love the fact that they have these giant windows on the outside, man. Like, I love the fact that it looks, it literally looks like a small RV. It has these little fancy limousine looking lights on the outside, which adds a cool little, little character to it. On top, you can see that it has the raised roof, which is freaking essential, man, because without that, well, you couldn't have any of the cool little gadgets and lights on the roof. So I'm like so grateful that this van came equipped with the fancy, fancy lifted roof. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about this one is that it comes with a spare tire, which I already had to take and get switched and used, so the old one's in there now, I think. Now one of my favorite parts, and that's the freaking ladder on the back, man. I literally have a ladder on my van. Now what kind of vlog would this be if I didn't at least climb up? Yeah. So like, this is amazing, and even though it's not like heavy enough up here, one day, one day, I want to build a big freaking deck. So like, I want to pull up places like this, just be sitting out and watching the whole entire like everything man just from the roof of the van one day though it's definitely not strong enough yet i gotta like build it hopefully that'll be like i mean that's like a summer project or something so that's pretty much it for like the outside or at least all the stuff that's interesting to me i don't know all the mechanical things and like all that so yeah let's get to the fun stuff on the inside actually you know what now nah, we're gonna start up front first okay so this is like this is the main freak. This is like the, the the command center right here. This is the whole. This is where it all starts. Over here on the driver's side, we got all the little controls on the door. You know, the same thing every car has. The dash has all the same crap every car has, pretty much. But this is where it gets a little exciting for me. This is the fun stuff right here. It starts getting more and more fun as we go. We got the radio, the CD player, not a CD player, a little old tape player. We got all that. Right up here, we got the little cigarette lighter. Most cars have them, obviously. And here's this cool stuff, man. It's like, here's a little knob to turn on the TV or the radio or like all the speakers, like how you want the speakers to get switched and all that cool stuff. But the best part of the front is this little freaking desk lamp, man. How many people can say that they have a desk lamp built into their freaking dashboard? And this thing like legitly works. It has two different settings, like two different brightnesses and, and everything, man. It's actually really cool. <laughs> I guess that's just made to go along with this whole fancy little setup here. It's like a own little mini table. I could sit stuff up here. I can cover these basically and have a little table, but I actually put a whole table in. It's getting kind of ruined, but. And how many vehicles you know that come with a remote? And not even just one remote, but two remotes. Two. I don't even know what they're for. Obviously the TV, but I don't need that. Now up here is like the main control center, the main thing. Like this turns on all the lights. This controls the lights for all the back and the front a little bit. Uh, like TV, everything. It used to like, I don't know man, I've seen a lot of these vans, they used to have like the temperature or like if you're going north, south, east, or west on this little screen up here. But it doesn't light up on this one, so I guess that must be kind of shot on this van. Here you will see a fancy fresh air freshener. Every car gotta have one of those. But yeah, this is like the main headquarters for the for the whole entire van, like everything that happens, this is where it happens from. This is where I gotta get in, go, and drive, and I feel like I'm literally driving a spaceship. Like when I was driving this thing, man, I'm gonna link that video in the description. When I was driving this thing, man, I feel like I'm driving like a big old freaking bus. I love it. But you feel protected too. You don't feel like if you get hit, you're really gonna like get smashed. Like you feel like you can, I can plow through some stuff if I wanted to. So yeah, that's just a quick tour of the front, but now I'm gonna show you the part that we've all been waiting for, man. The part that we all came to this video for, and that's the big 
beautiful back end of these freaking bands, man. And this one just happens to be the Diamond exclusive. I don't really know what that means, but I think it's why all this fancy stuff's in here. So yeah, let's check it out. Now on the inside, literally, I know this is probably weird, but this is literally one of my favorite parts of these vans, and it's always has been, man, and it's these curtains. And this one actually comes with two different types. You got the white one that you kind of still see through a little bit, but if you want to kind of block everything out, you just throw down the second one, and you're good to go, man. Like, you, I mean, light still shines through, but... And I think these window clamps are like the coolest thing in the world, man. They look so retro or like, I don't know. They just make me feel like I'm looking out a time machine, like a time capsule or something. I don't know, man. It sounds stupid, but it's true. But one of the first things you see when you come in here is this big old tapestry, man. This big old center divider that I have that goes the whole way across the front and separates the back. I put this in just because I wanted a little bit of privacy, man. Like, when you're up front, like, people can see through. Like, people would be like peeking like that through and like looking at me. So, I wanted to throw this up there. And even though there's a little gap up top and stuff, it still works perfectly, man. It blocks out all the view. So, you're back here, shut the curtains, and you're good. Threw in this little fancy rug here, just to kind of act like a little, like a little hallway, <laughs> and add some color. So it serves its purpose. Now I put these pillows and stuff on the floor. And you probably wonder why they're not on a bed. I put them on the floor and stuff because it just makes people feel more at home. It makes you feel like if that's not there, you get to see just like, bleh. but when this is there, it kind of just feels like it's a little more homey feel. It makes you feel like you're a little more comfortable and spacious. And I'm gonna get a lunch bunch more. Lord, I can't show you the back yet. Over here along the driver's side back seat, this is like the coolest seat in the whole entire house because it has this whole entire thing here, man. It has this, I don't know, I just feel like I'm sitting in like an office space. Or I feel like I'm sitting in somewhere like nice, nice. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. But I got the Wi-Fi box here, so that's going to be nice. People that are just chilling in here, they don't need to have to use up all their phone stuff or if their phone's running out or slow, they can hop up on the little Wi-Fi box. Good to go. Right beside that, we just got a cheap little Bluetooth speaker just to add some flair to it and all that cool stuff. And I don't know, when your car is turned off and all that, you can't go wrong with having extra little speakers and things to play music because music is literally life, man. It really is. So let's be real now. We all know that the best part of a conversion van is the back, man, because that's where, what do they say in all the MTV cribs? That's where all the freaking magic happens. But maybe it's not where all the magic happens, but it's where all the magic is. Like, holy crap, I gotta get a light in here. So this is what it looks like from the back side. It's a little bit better than the other angle before. Look at that, that even looks picture perfect. You can see out the windows, like the world that's going on outside. It's like a little vessel. Now they have a ton of storage built in on this van, man, and that's amazing. But one of the cool things that's in the back is that it has one of these on both sides, a little storage, little hump. And in this one, it actually has like a little vacuum cleaner and stuff. And back there, there's a little, a little fire extinguisher just in case something would ever happen. Hopefully it never does. <laughs> One of my favorite views of this van is when you're down in the back like this, and you get to look up and you get to see all the stuff on the roof. You get to see the tapestry, the bed, the colors, everything, man, the windows. But speaking of the roof, I gotta go show you guys all the lights and stuff. Now the lighting in here sucks, so I apologize with that or for that. I gotta use this little little handy dandy flashlight thing that barely even works even though it's freaking huge but this van is full with storage I'm not gonna open up everything but there's storage there there's a TV there there's storage there storage behind me all along these walls man this one's open so you can kind of see what they look like they're actually pretty big you can fit some stuff in them man you really could they're all along this side the whole way to the back I don't think that back thing is one but it could be I don't even know up here is all the panels for like all the lights. All of these light up, man. All of these panels, they light up. There's ones down on the bottom down here. But there's actually a six disc or something, a whole bunch of like just a giant CD changer and all that. But yeah, all those light up. Same as with down here in the door, there's a little strip that I didn't mention that actually lights up. They go all along this back side wall also. And the best part are the lights on the roof, man. This is what everybody loves these vans for, I think, is these beautiful lights, man. These lights that freaking light up and they just make this thing look like a limousine. They make the van almost what it is. Like, without them, I don't know. Like, I would've, if I would've got this van, even though, like, not to sound ungrateful, but I would've been bummed if it didn't have this, man, because uh, one of these days I'm gonna have to show, like, turn them on and show you guys, because it looks so cool. And with the stars, it just looks like, like I'm looking up at the whole sky at night, especially when these are light up, because these stars are lit up because they're glowing in the dark with these lights. 
On the back here, you can see that it got its own like big old speakers, got its own little radio or tape player and all that stuff. More speakers and more speakers. But I don't even know if this little tape player works, so who knows? This is what it looks like from the back. Got my little dirty old boots. Oh, and I almost forgot, like each section has their own like stereo headphone port, like freaking control for the TV, how loud they want it, their own air conditioning, their own special lighting. And that's literally on every side. It's over here, it's up there, it's up there behind all this crap. It's freaking everywhere, man. So yeah, guys, that was just a quick tour before it gets too cold out and the sun goes down. It's about to set in a little bit, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I didn't go into too much detail on everything, but I just wanted to keep it quick and simple and just, and just show you guys all the things I think are the coolest things. Like I always say, I don't know all the mechanics stuff, but I do know creative stuff. And I still try to show you the artistic stuff. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna sit here, and continue to watch all this, go over the mountains, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.